Hey guys, Luca here from MQL4TradingAutomation.com In this video we want to talk about the data folder of the MT4 client. Please remember that I'm not a financial advisor and this video must not be considered as financial advice. Trading always involves risks, so do not trade money that you cannot afford to lose. Let's talk about the data folder of the MetaTrader 4 client. If you open the client, you can notice on the left side the navigator menu, where there are accounts, indicators, expert advisors, scripts. These are all files that are saved somewhere in your computer. So the data folder is the folder that contains the data used by MetaTrader to run, the profiles of the users, the credentials, the indicators, expert advisors, scripts, and template files, the historical data of the charts, the data used to backtest. It's basically everything, all the configuration needed to run in MetaTrader. If you delete this data folder, you will have to reconfigure the, the client. You will have to download again your expert advisors. If you had any custom, custom indicators, profiles, templates, everything will be gone. Where is the data folder? The data folder is located by default in the user profile. If we go in file and then open data folder, we have the exact location of this folder, which as mentioned is in the user profile, username, app data, roaming, meta quotes terminal, and a random string. This string is generated automatically by the MetaTrader software. In the folder, you can see the configuration, the history, the MQL4 folder, which is expert advisors, indicators, scripts, and so on, the profiles, the templates, and the tester data. In some cases, you may want to move this folder to another location. There are different cases. For example, I had to configure once the synchronization of this folder between two computers so I had to move it to a location that wasn't the app data. This is only an example, there might be other cases. Regardless of the case, it is important now that we learn how we can manage the location of this folder. The best way that I found to change the location is to run MetaTrader for client in portable mode. Portable mode is a special configuration where MetaTrader runs only from its own folder and it doesn't write or read any data outside its parent folder. We can see now how to configure MetaTrader for this run. We can close the data folder, we can close MetaTrader. We need to go and copy the data folder, the actual software folder first, that by default is saved in C drive program files x86 if you have a 32 or <coughs> if we have a, if you have a 64 bit machine and then the client folder right click copy and you can copy this folder in the location where you want to run metatrader it can be a usb stick it can be a network folder, 
it can be another folder in a temporary directory it can be on another drive it can be wherever you want in my case just for example I am going to copy the folder in a temporary folder I'm going to paste it and what we need to do to run the program in a portable mode is create a shortcut of the main executable which is terminal.exe create shortcut you can copy this shortcut where you most prefer it can be the desktop it can be in documents it can be anywhere I'm going to rename the shortcut and then we need to change the properties and add a parameter in the target field backslash portable this parameter will tell MetaTrader to start and run entirely from its folder so from FX choice MetaTrader this will be the data folder we can now run the terminal the first time that you run this it will take a while because it's like a new installation it's like a new start so it has to reconfigure the profile this means that also if you already had a demo account configured you need to log in again so select the server next existing trade account we can type again the login and password and this is connected and if we check where is the data folder located now for this execution the data folder is in the C temp FX choice which is the location where we copied the entire software folder we can do this again quickly and I want to show you how to get the data already existing from the existing data folder so we go and we delete this folder so it's not there anymore we go again to take the original folder in the program data program files copy this folder copy in temp in my user profile I need to find my previous and original data folder which was in app data roaming meta quotes terminal and I'm pretty sure this was the hash we just copy the content and we paste it in the current folder you will have to overwrite some of the data we create again the shortcut we assign the portable parameter and this time since we copied the previous profile it shouldn't ask for credential but it should just connect to the server straight away as it, as it does and if we check the data folder 
it's a C drive temp FX choice remember this is a good way if you want to run MetaTrader from a USB stick from a network location from another disk well this is all for this video thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and it you found this useful enjoy your trading and see you next time bye